Hey guys, I'm P-Freak. Welcome back to Suburbcraft. Last time, we completely did the entire Land of Light and Rain all in one go, which was pretty nice, especially considering the fact that the freaking boss battle was difficult as all hell. Like, I had to figure out some riddle or some shit. Anywho, this part, we are going to continue on to the next land, which is the land of heat and clockwork. Before we do that, though, I do want to say I did some stuff off screen and I got myself some new backpacks. So I renamed this one to hold my frame motifs and my Fago because, again, we are running out of storage space so badly. Over here, I have a bigger backpack. This will just hold just about anything else I want to toss in there. I have only beds. I have a furnace in there. Uh, you make this by first combining leather and string. So I went back to the Tomb of the White King, got all leather there, and then combined it with the string to make bound leather. And then you cook it down in the furnace, and then you make a big backpack. I also have an Ender backpack here. This allows me to actually access my Ender chest basically anywhere I want. I got that by basically doing the same thing as the backpack, except I have an Ender chest in the center. I got the Ender chest from finding um, what are what are they called? Like GGIs, basically Endermen, pearls, and then trading them with that villager over in the marketplace. Anyways, all explanations out of the way. Welcome to the land of heat and clockwork. And as you can see, there's lava. Lots and lots and lots of lava. We have a lot of katanas here, but nothing's gonna take me. Nothing's gonna replace my Warhammer Zillyhoo. Uh, we have a chest here. Let's see, we have something from Dave, some shades, and beat down Strider style. Gives us speed and strength, but also instantly damages us. Okay. And I hear a lot of monsters outside already. Let's quickly put our frame motifs in here. I got a couple more suburban jungles while I was down there as well, so that's nice. Hey, if you're reading this, then I probably carked it or something. Does that mean that you died? Probably. Bought the farm, took the long trip, six feet under, pushing up daisies, kicked the bee. You know what? Let's not go there. <laughs> oh, I get it. Buck, kick the butt. Okay, I get it. Anyway, I know you're here to save the session, but the joke's on you if you pick this shithole planet to start off with. How high do you even have to be? <laughs> It's full of fucking lava. I mean, come on, dude. It's hotter than your mom's ass in the middle of July, and, you know, immersed in a ton of molten lava. So listen up, if you want to get down there safely, if you can track down little Cal and beat the hell out of that goddamn thing, maybe that'll help you down somehow. But if it doesn't, at least you can just kill the scariest thing the side of Rose's tentacle assholes. <laughs> so yes, basically he's trying to say, maybe you should go and kill some Endermen to get Ender Pearls to teleport you out, so that's fun. What the hell are these things again? Are these, like, puppets or whatever? A uh, smuppet. Has silk touch, though. Well, that's interesting. In here, we have food. I will actually take that. We seem to be actually losing our hunger nowadays, so I'll take the free food. Uh, we have some more leather helmet, leather hats or whatever. Music. Just a bunch of shit around here. What do we have in here? We have a bunch of shit ninja swords and some Vago. I'll take the Vago. And that's everything. Would love to have that looting on my Warhammer, but I guess I won't. Quickly put this in there. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, Road tip. Throw a free motif straight up for the best results. Yeah, I know that. There's no way we're getting down there. At least not safely. I mean, we could try jumping in the lava, but that'll also kill us immediately. So, I guess we just explore the house. Up here, yeah, we have some... There's rust imps. They're uh, zombie piglins, if I remember correctly, so... That's fun. Um, we have the alchemator here. We have an AC vent here that I see. So this is supposed to spawn Enderman, but it's dark right now. Pro tip, low cowling comes out at night. Also, try warping this direction. Will do, will do. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. The pigment don't actually die. So I guess we gotta wait till nighttime, which kinda sucks because I slept through nighttime in a... Yeah, it's the middle of the day. Huh. Well, this is awkward. I guess while we're here, though, I might as well put a waypoint down. So... Down... Dave's house. Alright, and make it red. Red, 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 red. That's pink. I want more reds. There we go. That'll do. See, this is the problem with having two, basically, another shade of red as one of the characters' main colors. I mean, granted, maybe it's more purpley, but whatever. Oh, and he's gone again. Yeah, see, they're perfectly fine. They survive. So, I think that's a town over there that we can explore. There's a ravine there. That's kind of weird. Uh, the one nice thing is that, at least around the edges, there's going to be plenty of light for us to see around here, so... Uh, we'll be pretty simple navigating through the dark. 
I kind of want to go in that direction. Oh, whoops. I kind of want to go in that direction, though, because you see the gears over there? Uh, hence the term clockwork, because, you know, time. He's supposed to be a hero of time and all that jazz, and there's something over in that direction. Oh, wait, I think I know what that is. Yeah, that's definitely important. We definitely want to get over there. Uh, this is going to be a pain in the ass to navigate through, though. With all the lava around here. I thought freaking Rose's land was going to be difficult, but... Oh, boy. Yeah. I require a lot of parkouring and maybe trying to see if we can get some frame motifs that give us fire resistance or something. Anyways, I'm just going to stick around here until it turns nighttime, I guess. Am I cool yet, Mom? God, I look like a fucking dork. This guy's just fucking holding fire. The hell? He's enchanted and all that. I don't want to... I think all these guys are enchanted. I don't want to fight any of them, because in case you don't know how pigmen work, well, you hit one, uh, they all aggro on you and basically try to kill you. So, yeah, that's fun. Hold on, I want to see... Isn't this... Yeah, we can literally just get some iron dust, iron grist right here, but just straight these, so... I'll happily take that. Especially considering we're going to need some replacement armor soon. So yeah, everything's freaking dying. In fact, I think I'm going to actually get myself some boots, some iron boots. Oh yeah, I found out something interesting, since I just happened to find a whole thing of apple juice here. Uh, these actually are not food items. I thought they were food items, but no, they're actually just little experience potions, so that's nice. If you find a whole bunch of apple juice now, it would probably be a nice idea to actually collect it all and use it on yourself. So that's nice. Uh, I think I found a secret. Uh, onward. Found some more Smuppets. Nice. But gay. You know, before it fully comes out, Dirk looks very much to be the same colors as Prosper. Kind of interesting. Just an interesting little detail I've noticed. Also, it's a really awkward horizon line. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Okay, well, hopefully now it's starting to actually get dark enough to where we can actually have some Enderman spawn. God, I... You know what? Actually, I should probably destroy it before it's spawned anymore. I'm gonna actually destroy this spawner right here. Just because I don't want to accidentally hit any pigmen while I'm trying to deal with the enemy. So... Yeah, most of the... At least the edges are all, like, brightly lit because of the lava, so that's nice. Alright, come on out, little gal. Let me fight you and your creepy-ass smile again, please. Still not dark enough yet. <sighs> oh. Where did you spawn? Where in God's name did you spawn? <clears throat> Probably underneath. Uh, let's see. Where? What? Did he probably, like, spawn off the edge and then, like, fall into the lava? Probably. Oh, there we go. Here's one. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Well, shit. Okay, there we go. Finally. Alright, I also found some Fago on the other side there. Finally, we have a Warp Eyeball. Let's see if we can actually use it this side to make it over there safely. Here's hoping that lands where it needs to. Yeah! Oh, shit! Hi, people! I did not realize that you were all down here. Frick, I should've... Wait, no, I have several beds on me. Okay, all I just needed was to get the goddamn... I can just build across most of these platforms. Okay, let's make it into the town to safety real quickly. Knock knock. Who's there? I don't know, but I'm coming in. Okay. Where are we? We're at, um... Yeah, this is why they keep going knack-knack, because we have the knack-knacks. Or whatever the hell they're called. Alright. I'm gonna call that this knack-knack central. Go. And try to find a red. Perfect. Okay. And now, using one of the beds I have in my bag here, I'm gonna actually go and set my spawn point. 
There. Okay. Looks like we got a map over here. I'll definitely take that. Hi guys. Oh, give me the map, thank you. So let's see, I'm right here. Is that literally just it pointing me to where Dave's house is? Yeah, no, that's basically what it's doing. It's just pointing me to where Dave's house is. I mean, we see that thing in the uh, in the uh, lower left corner that I want to go to eventually. In fact, I might try to make my way over there, but we also do. I also just want to make it to this area. So, be gone, go burn. All right, what do you guys have for sale? Got a cool kid, fire resistance, which I need, but mining fatigue. Oof. Might get that actually. What do you have? Uh, some leather. Don't need that. A uh, rambunctious crow. Okay, I guess I can spawn a crow. That's cool. You have arrows, and that's it. You have melons. 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 Just just melons. Okay. Pretty boring, not gonna lie. Okay. Neck. Neck, neck. Uh, some iron plates here, but another thing is Skya. All right. Pretty boring town, actually, not gonna lie. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, how are you still? It's freaking sunny. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess I better start exploring around, see what we can find around here. Uh, I believe these are, or were they? No, no, those aren't supposed to be armor. Where, oh, did my, no, no, there's my pickaxe. Why is my pickaxe in my inventory? Weird, okay. So, I definitely think that um, place I've been trying to talk about on the other side is supposed to be one of the danger of the aspect dungeons, and then one of them is supposed to be the denizens layer, which I believe the denizen for here is named Hephaest Hephaestus, Hephaestus, something like that. Yeah. Uh, ugh, please, I'm actually very afraid. This is gravel we're walking, right? And okay, so there's gravel all the way to the bottom of this lava. That's good to note. I just realized this is wood. I should not be using wood to get across these things, but uh, that's a gold block right over there. We do not need to, to go over there. Uh, you have a freaking smubbit. Interesting. Where is my cobblestone, actually? Uh, I think my cobblestone is actually in the chest. Yeah, we are going to want to use this instead. Uh, I should probably actually put stuff away in my chest that I need to put away. Put that away, that, that. And you know what, since we had the lava here, we can actually burn things up. So get rid of the Smuppets, get rid of the Iron Frames. I bought a whole bunch of Gushers as well, since I could. So we, we should be good on food for a while. Uh, Antenna Alley. Interesting. I still don't think, like, this map's really not... Oh, wait. Another thing popped up. Weird. Okay, so there's something in that direction. I guess I'll keep this for a while then. Uh, oh, I definitely see something over there. Question, oh, oh we got a hoof piece, okay. Question now is how do we get over there? Hmm. I guess we really have no other choice but to just build over there. That sucks, but yeah. I thought the water place was gonna be sucky to navigate through. No, no, this is even worse. <sighs> okay, well that accomplished virtually nothing. Uh, if I can just get over there, then I can actually get over to there. So... I just need to find more things to actually use for platforms. Definitely not using any of the gravel, but... What is this stuff? This is... This is supposed to be heat, heat mill. I think, judging by how fast it's breaking, it's supposed to be netherrack. So... This will actually be a pretty decent... Uh path building block, so I will definitely take some. Okay. Alright. So now we should have enough to actually make it to at least over to there. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now from here we should be able to safely navigate over. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Great. Okay. So I believe this is where it's telling us. To yeah. So what is this place? Could it possibly be an aspect dungeon? There's a music thing next to it. Let's 
see. Hmm. There's no danger side, so I guess it's not an aspect dungeon, but we can still explore to see what's inside. Don't like that sound. I think there are possibly some slimes around here. Oh well, the lava's position is being updated. That's great. Okay. But there are definitely slimes somewhere. Are they underneath? They're probably underneath. Yeah, there's something going on down here. Yep, there are the slimes. Some magma cubes. Okay. Well, they look kind of interesting. I mean, all blue. Well, I guess we can get some free... Or I guess they aren't going to spot the slimes, okay. Oh, there's more stuff down here, okay. I thought that was literally it. I was confused for a second. Nope. Got some more... Oh, there's actual lava. More lava danger, awesome. I guess this is a prick. Is this, like, blocking? Yeah, it's like blocking the lava going further. What do we got in here? We got some... Forrest's jacket, okay. Sick fires. Uh, sharpness 1 and knockback 2. Pirate Cumulus. This gives us speed and fire resistance. Okay, this could actually help us navigate through the lava. I will take that. And I guess we'll take these. And there's an Enderman somewhere. Awesome. Alright, so now we just gotta get the hell out of here, so... I guess we'll just climb out. I think actually I should... Yeah, the windy stuff is about to break. Well, not my pants, actually. You know what? I'll keep them for now. I'll actually just put the pants and stuff inside my backpack. Alright. Uh, anything else I need to put in here? No, I think I'm good for now. Okay. Guess that was the only place of interest on the map. Okay, well, that wasn't entirely a waste of time. Having the fire resistance for motif might actually help me navigate a bit better. So, I'm just gonna call this the Magma Dungeon. Magma Dungeon. I can type, I swear. Alright. Perfect. Okay, so now where do we go? It looks to be the edge of the world along there, so. There's some gears down south of us, so. Let's take a look at what's over there. Maybe we can find something there. be more there's a bridge over there so there's definitely something over in that direction oh I see a ring on the map that means that there's a uh, warp gate somewhere yeah the rings right over there so the warp gate must be somewhere let's see if we can safely make it across these gears okay. yeah warp gates right there all right wonder what which land this leads to I've never actually used the warp gates, like even in my normal runs, I just didn't find any need to use them. It, it's a nice little detail they added though. I will give them that, it's a nice little detail. Alright, let's see, this is to Lolar, okay. I'll put that down, just in case. Low hack to Lolar, and we already know the location of the Lolar to the low hack stuff, so that's cool. Good enough. Okay, so... Yep, that's the edge of the world. What's that blue thing over there, though? There's something blue over there. Uh, maybe not too important right now. There's some more gears that we can clamber across over here, so... Yeah, and a whole other building. There's a lot of ravines around here. I guess you can go mining in them and probably get some more decent stuff. I think the big, like, so... I know this place is definitely big on, like, giving you a bunch of iron stuff, like, the uh, pants we got and the sunglasses, or shades, and all that jazz, that's all iron armor, so... Oh! That looks to be important. I think that actually is one of the aspect areas, yeah. A little golden knack-knack place. Um, what's the best way for us to get over there? I think it actually is just continuing off around these gears. <sighs> zombie there for a second. Let's see. Yeah, there looks to be another town right there. Or like another shopping place. Yeah, this definitely would be probably one of the hardest lands for you to choose first. But yeah, I think this right over here is an aspect dungeon. 
so I will happily go in and counter it. I need to find more beds to steal. Let's see, going on up. Yep. Palace of the Knack Leapers. Is that what they're called? Knack Leapers? Whatever. Palace of the Knack Leapers. Knack Knack. Alright. Come on. Please. Thank you. Okay. So. Ooh. We can make our cross still. That's concerning. Okay, so I am gonna grab a bed out from here and actually set my spawn point down real quick. It's actually maybe a bad location. Okay, no. What the hell was that? That's weird. Okay, hi, rude. All right. Well, we made it into an aspect dungeon, so that's nice. Um, how do we navigate through? Like, do we just have to go down, like dig down, or? Oh, I do not like this. What's this supposed to do? Like, what frame motifs are you dropping? Oh, jump base. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, okay. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to go down very... Just a lot of stuff. Okay, I'll take the free jump boost. Looks like it's also giving us some fall resistance, so that's nice. Not a lot of stuff spawning right now, so that's good. Yeah, I guess having the jump boost we also get fall resistance. I will take that. Alright. That looks to be void down there, so definitely want to avoid going through that. Avoid going through that? Yeah, okay. Eh, yeah, well, that was easy. We got time on my side. That gives me speed and jump boost, and 64 of them. The prince is awake. Your shit is wrecked. Wow, that's actually a lot. I will happily take all those. 60 fucking four of them. Jesus. Uh, so, we got our heart aspect block. Nice. And that's just more. Wow, that was incredibly anticlimactic. Okay, well, not bad. That's one aspect dungeon down. Now to actually just get the hell out of here. Can I just... Yes, I can. Sweet. Alright. So... That out of the way, I think... Let's go to... Uh, I forget what it's properly called. So the thing that I'm... Oh, if I go here. I'll pass on it. There we go. The thing that I keep talking about, I know it has... I just can't remember what's properly called. I, I, that kind of sounds awkward with... I just started there, whatever, but... Okay. Things are starting to get a bit dangerous now. Okay. There we go. Perfect. And we are free. Alright. You know, I'm actually going to use one of these uh, time on my side for motifs. Nice. So we got speed and jump boost. Okay. So, the only other thing I don't know is where where would Hephaestus' uh, thing be? That's my biggest question. I'm going to take a look around. I'll see you guys if I find something of interest. Hold on. I see something over here. Definitely want to see what this is. It's at the edge of the world, so... Maybe it could be interesting, or maybe it's just be... Waste my time. Or is this another danger place? Uh, stairs, bro. Oh. No, it's just a waste of my time. It's a big fucking reference. To Sweet Bro and Hello Jeff. Why are you guys... Okay, whatever. Uh, we got How High Do You Even Have To Be. Some Artifact Gris, which is just gold. Okay, wow, we're... Guys, I'm trying to... Oh my god. Uh, please. Okay, whatever. Okay. Okay. Okay, can I please go now? Thank you. Well, that was kind of a waste of my time. Let's see. This has Unbreaking, Fortune, Bane of Arthropods, Knockback, and... Okay, whatever. Just fuck off. Jesus. 
But yeah, the um, that's another inside joke within the Homestuck community is I warned you about stairs, bro, because it comes from a shitty comic that Dave made called Sweet Burn Hell Jeff. It was one of the jokes in there. So, And that joke has been referenced several times. If any of you guys ever played the Henry Stickman games, there's actually an achievement that references this. So that's pretty neat. There looks to be something over in this direction, so... I did a favor, or did myself a thing, and mined a whole bunch of the heat metal, so now hopefully we should be able to, at the very least, get to that gravel pit over there. This doesn't look like it's a danger aspect dungeon, but it could hold some more fire resistance or something to help me, so that'd be nice. Uh, oh, there's something over there, actually. But we'll definitely check to see what that is once we're done here. Come on. Oh, I think I know what we're actually going to encounter in this area, now that I think about it. Oh, I hear... blazes. That's a good sign. It's probably a... yep, there's a spawner underneath that I see. Definitely take that out. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, we got some TNT. Boom buck, I'll take that. Atomic bonpire. Atomic e bonpire. Jump boost, speed, fire resistance, strength, and just health, but gives us 30 seconds of hunger. I'll take that. That jeez, that actually sounds really good. Uh more iron grist, I'll take that. Clock stopper. Speed of four, but weakness. A jump boost, haste, hunger, and instant damage. You know, I'll take the atomic bonfire. Okay. So there's something over there, but I'll check that out in a moment. Right now I want to kind of organize my inventory. Okay, inventory fully organized. There's a lot of iron down there we can get. Alright, let's try to make our way over there. Hmm. Now that I look at it, it doesn't look like it's going to be a... It does not look like it's going to be a aspect dungeon. However, I'll still try to make my way over there. Okay, made it over here. Oh, looks to be a rail system of some sort, actually. Okay. Must be similar to, let's see, Durst Monorail, Cogsweep Isle Station. Okay, so this is the, right, we don't have a Pachu cart. So, Cogsweep Isles Station. Is this gonna lead us to a marketplace as well, or? Hmm, only one way to find out. Speaking of marketplaces, I wish this video was sponsored. <laughs> uh, that'd be great. Alright. Wish we did have a... Wait, we could just make a... We have iron to make a pachu card if we wanted to. Yeah, whatever. I'll already start running. Okay, so that over there, that is what I have actually wanted to actually take a look at. Because I could see it's kind of important and it's kind of dipping the lava. So that's definitely something we want to explore. In fact, we'll probably be exploring that next, considering I didn't realize how close we actually were to it. As I'm pretty sure that is going to be a aspect place. Because we got that. Then we need to try to find Hephaestus' lair. So I'm pretty sure that'll be the other aspect place, as it typically is. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get over there, though. Alright. There's a gate over here, too. This might be a good, nice little central hub. I definitely am going to place one of my beds here. I'll try to see if there are any more beds for me to place. Hello? Alright. Ah, uh, so you sell stuff. Okay, the skillful toolery. Yep, this looks to be... I don't even know what this is. Okay, well... I know what this map is. I was more talking about the station. I was trying to figure out if I could see. Okay, so yeah, this map isn't really telling me anything. I think this map, these maps, are be broken, unfortunately. Wait, where the? Okay, weird. Creepy music. Don't need that. Dave, is this you? Oh boy, delicious. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, what else do we have around here? We have Edge of Oblivion. I guess that's another location we can explore. It's probably where it faces this place is. Um, professional hardware. 
Ooh, the Kelp Scratch. Knockback, Fire Aspect, Looting, and Unbreaking. Uh, but the Sharpness. Mm, I might actually get it, actually. I much prefer the Looting Aspect, especially if I'm trying to go grind for something, so I definitely... Th yeah, I'm gonna get one of those. Let me just grab the things out of my Ender Backpack in a moment. Okay, yeah, I definitely want a Kelp Scratch. Kelp Scratch, if I remember, was actually one of Dave's signature swords, so... Definitely gonna be nice to have one of those. That, that, thank you. Get my stuff back. Alright, perfect. Especially since I don't know where. Are there any parcel pixies around here? Because I don't remember seeing any in Lolar. They only seem to be. Okay, we've already been to Antenna Alley. That's kind of where we started, so. Definitely the edge of Oblivion is the other place we have not gone to. So I'm just gonna call this um, Dursite Station. There we go. Okay. So, here in Dursite Station, I'm going to actually use one of the beds I have to actually set my spawn here. Come on, please. Thank you. And then we're going to make it over to that record looking thing. Because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that over there. I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of. That has to be one. Places, right? Uh, I need more building blocks, though. <sighs> Only one way to find out. 